Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is looking at uh, this calculator and specifically looking, well, looking at the TI 30 XS Multi View Calculator and looking at this very special button right here, this double arrow button. It is amazing. Uh, first, let's check the mode. Well, turning on would help. Let's turn that on. So, you want to check the mode. Uh, you want to make sure that the mode is in math print. If you're working with degrees, uh, normal versus scientific or engineering. Uh, float is how you round, how the number rounds, and just keep it on float. Um, you can either go with classic or math print. If it's in classic, so I'm just going to turn it to classic really quick. Uh, notice that I use the arrow buttons and then I push the enter key. So to put it in math print, highlight math print, and then push enter. And then uh, to quit, push second, and then push mode again uh, to quit. Now you're back on this main screen right here. Now, uh, keeping it in math print is very helpful. So if I want to Let's say I want to simplify a fraction. So four and then ND and then push eight and then enter. There's my fraction one fifth. But what if I want to change it to a decimal? Push the double arrow button makes it a decimal. If I want to, if I'm doing like with things involving pi, let's say I'm calculating an area of something which has a radius of four, I put pi four squared and then enter. I get 16 pi. What if I want the decimal? Just push that double arrow button right there, converts it to a decimal. And let's say that, you know, I'm using the distance formula or Pythagorean theorem or something like that. And I get square root of let's say 72, I get six square root of two, but I want the decimal, just push that double arrow button right there. Now, the double arrow button doesn't just work on this screen, it also works in the table. So if I go to the table, I type in a function to uh, nd3, pushing over to get out of the fraction, x minus five, enter. I go back to zero, get my step as one, click on okay. And notice now I got all these fractions. And if I highlight this, negative 13 thirds, click that double arrow button, I get negative 4.33333 repeating. So no matter if you're in the table screen or in the main screen, push that double arrow button, it will convert between math prints and a decimal. It's very handy. Hope you liked this video. Uh, please like and, and subscribe, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend.